Corey Trepanier's Into the Arctic Video Journals. Brought to you in part by Eureka for Life Outdoors. And by Merrill. Let's get outside. Gorgeous night tonight. Hopefully start my first painting up here on Baffin Island. Didn't quite work out last night. Got the pencils going, but this time I have to get the oils out. We hiked by here a few hours ago. That background in the rock face over there, that rock wall looked like a castle. The sun was catching from the right a bit more and you had a really defined wall on each side. Now the sun's moved over to set. Oh, there's bugs. It's looking like the light's going to cast a much more flat light on the scene. So it won't look exactly like what I was planning on, but you can never count on these things exactly. Earlier it looked like it'd be a great spot this evening. And now we got a little bit of light coming back, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's going to break through whatever little cloud cover there is there. And, uh, light up that background peak and uh, maybe this wall over here too and even if it doesn't it's still a nice gentle scene and we've got the river in the foreground here sort of adding some some interest but i'm really hoping that back wall lights up because last night we saw something like that just a little further down and it was just glorious when that sunshine at the very end of the day catches the top peak and where i'm situated with the river i think there's a good chance i might get a bit of that color down below here too so i don't know if it's going to happen but i might as well start now and see what takes place Absolutely stunning. Look at the light it was just climbing up the, the rock face over there. <laughs> it's amazing. These keys are getting all over the paint. But get off my brush. By deciding to set up the paint, even though the light was quite poor earlier, I got the big payoff. I got some wonderful evening light that was striking this uh, this hillside here on Baffin Island dramatically and still catching the back uh, back rock face a little bit beyond the waterfalls. When I'm out painting I find that you have to just go for it. You gotta set things up and even if the weather's not cooperative something usually happens by having some patience and staying out there for long enough to let nature take its course. Makes for a tough go though when the light's continually changing on is on this side of the cliff then that side then over there and trying to decide at what point <laughs> what, what, where do I want it in my painting. You see, I didn't really get that far. It's, I find it very tough because the light's always changing, trying to make up my mind as to which way I want it to go. But I, I take some reference photos along the way, which are which are helpful to recapture the moment. And I just can't keep up when the light changes like this. <laughs> but it's worth the effort to try to capture it on location. There's nothing that quite replaces the experience of, of seeing it and feeling it and well, battling the mosquitoes, too. Um, so that when I'm back in the studio later on, I'm not starting from uh, working from just a picture. I'm working from an experience. I, I was here. I looked at it and I tried as, as much as I could uh, to capture the essence of, of the scene in front of me. And all those things really help later on when, I, when I'm working back in the studio and using some of these photos for reference that I've taken. And of course, blending those with experience that can't be replaced to me with just, uh, just photos. So I keep you coming back up for more. <laughs> 